check three two one we are live I'm gonna show you guys a clip and how to do a little editing trick that I just created Just giving it a moment here for like 8,000 people to join the, uh, the live stream. Okay, so let me show you simply. Let's check our live stream real quick. Oh, there it is, huh? All right, so I got to change my speakers here to Logitech. And um, what else? What else? Display desktop. Okay, so then. What else is I have to close this down and reopen it? Oh, I've been having some serious back pain. How's that in the dark? How's that better? All right, so back, back in Premiere here. And I'm going to pop open, let's pop open this one for now. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So, let's say I'm going to create a new, this was a section on Archaeopteryx, dinosaurs not evolving into birds. But I'm going to go over here. Actually, I'm going to start fresh and open a new project. New project. And it'll just be evolution bashing. And I'll name my sequence the same thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import, double click here, go to tech times videos should be more reasons gives me this video and I'm gonna slap it on in here I'm going to da, 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 let me change the sequence settings this time all right so this is long presentation hour and a half so let's say for instance we want to get this dude right here copy this video and download it is that the only video is there where's the one with the girl where's the one with the girl there's the one with the girl this one this is the one okay grab this one too paste it check my volumes here there we go okay okay all right we're good to go here if I go to my channel says I'm live streaming there we go this one I downloaded I'm good this one I downloaded, I'm good. This one I downloaded, I'm good. This one I downloaded, I'm good. That one, oh, maybe I didn't download it. Did I download it? I think I did, yeah, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna bring that one in too, just for reference much much smaller all right so let's say we're looking at sample clips and one of them was DNA we'll throw that one in here give it a second the other one was have the moon the moon will never ever leave Earth's orbit grab that one 
drag it in. All right, so we got some of our clips here. Okay, and here's what I'm gonna do. The moon keeps slipping away. Okay, that's loud. I'm gonna turn down my volume. That's not completely true, though. Okay, the worst part is literally watching the uh, source footage. That's the longest part. As kids, we learn that the moon stably orbits the Earth at an average distance of 384,000 kilometers. That's not completely true, though. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther. Distance of 380... All right, so that's where we want to cut it. That's not, not completely true, though. Right here. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little... Right here. Every year, the... No, right here. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. But luckily for us, we don't have to worry about the moon ever getting so far that it breaks free. On average, the moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year, at around the same rate as your fingernails. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. Back then, models suggest it See what they said there? That rate has varied a lot varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. Back then, models suggest it was as close as 22,500 kilometers from Earth, which would have made it look 17 times bigger in the sky than it does now. Talk about a moonlit night. You would think that if the moon keeps slipping away, it would eventually drift beyond the influence of Earth's gravity. But the reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us, a principle known as the conservation of angular momentum. In physics, angular... Hmm. We want that. ...of angular momentum. In physics, angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. That something can be one object, like a figure skater, or it can be a system of multiple objects moving together, like the Earth and the Moon. Angular momentum depends on two things, the way the system's mass is distributed and how fast it's rotating. When the momentum is conserved, that means it has to stay constant. So if the rotation speed changes, the way the mass is distributed also has to change to compensate, and vice versa. You know how a spinning figure skater slows down when they extend their arms? That's conservation of angular momentum. Extending their arms moves some mass farther away from their body, which would increase their angular momentum. So their rotation speed slows down to compensate and keep their angular momentum the same. Something similar happens with the Earth and the Moon. The way things are now, the Moon's gravity tugs on the Earth, creating tidal bulges. But because our planet rotates faster than the Moon orbits, the bulge spins ahead of the moon. As the moon pulls it, Earth's rotation slows down. Forces always come in equal and opposite pairs. Thanks, Mr. Newton. So the Earth is simultaneously tugging on the moon to try to make it catch up. The Earth loses a lot of energy due to friction as its insides and the oceans slosh around during this whole process, which also slows its spin. Since the Earth's rotation is slowing down, some mass in the Earth's moon system moves further from the center to compensate. And that mass, in this case, is the moon. Theoretically, tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the Earth and moon would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the moon's orbit. The length of one day would be the same as one lunar month with that extended orbit, around six weeks or so. And just like how we only see one side of the moon, only one side of the Earth would face the moon. They'd both be tidally locked. At that point, the Earth's tidal bulges would always be directly in line with the moon so it would finally stop getting further away. Unfortunately for theory, after only a couple of billion years, our sun will have grown into a red giant, likely consuming both the Earth and the moon way before they ever get to that point. So I guess you could say that the moon will leave Earth's orbit, but only because it'll come crashing back into Earth when the sun reaches its midlife crisis. Until then, we're here to answer all of your burning science questions. Thanks. Well, gee, I don't know. You didn't exactly answer anything. You spoke a whole lot of nonsense. Let's see. All right, let me show you my trick. That's what we were getting at. Come to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and over here you want to type in uh, Insert, and it gives you this Paste Insert. And over here, you can designate what you want it to be. And I've chosen, you could double click it, I've chosen to make it my insert key, which is right above delete. 
uh, near the backspace, near home, page up, end, page down, delete, insert. I put insert as insert conveniently with the name paste insert. And so that now when I want to, let's say I want to take, let me just give you a crazy example here. Control X will cut this clip. And let's say I want to paste it right here, which before I do that, I want to go to my motion and make this bigger. Now let's say I want to paste it right here and I find my exact frame. All I have to do is press insert. It puts the clip right there and pushes the other clip over. And if I wanted to paste it again, insert. So that way if there's some something, well I want to paste in multiple spots or whatever the case is, but let's say I want to get rid of it, I could either hold alt and press delete and it'll shrink it back or I just delete and then delete this space and it takes it back so it's fast cutting fast editing so let's say whoops let's say I want to undo that I would just drag her back out delete this one drag it back out delete that drag it out all right so let's look at this edit real quick one, one of the, the dumbest, dumbest and most dangerous, dangerous religions, religions on planet Earth. Okay. That should fade. The fade should be over by the time it, it shows attack times right here at the white screen right there. This fade should be over with. You shouldn't see him anymore because you want this impacting to be sudden and abrupt, not fading in like that. Earth. So, for instance, if I go to attack times, or da, 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 where are they? Stock clips, intro, intro 2019, and I open that up. Let's say I want to drag this here, right? And I wanted that to be right, right here. So, cut that right there, drag that to there, bring this over, pull this back out, or, well, whatever. Then I would put this, uh, actually, okay. actually, I'm going to put this right in here, and then I'm going to hold Alt. Control T. Let's put my transition. Problem is, I don't want this transition because that just. Oh yeah, I do actually. Wait. Oh, that's not going to work actually. Problem here is that this clip already has this. So we want to get it right. Right there. So we actually want to put the fade on this side and the audio fade on this side as well. And at Earth. Okay. It still kind of fades in, but I guess that's how the clip was. But it doesn't have him over the background like it did right here. You'll see him in the background. And at Earth. Okay. The Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. Okay, right there, when he says that, we should cut to... That. Um, we should cut to... Here, let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Actually, see if I want to take this, control X, and I'm going to put it over here in the front. I can press my insert button, and it just puts it in the beginning. This one I can move later on here. And actually, if I want to close this gap, go like that, move these over. So, right here, he should say something. We can, time space. can skip all this intro here. 
There she is at 90. All right, hold on. On planet Earth can own 11 trillion of them. Frankly, they're stupid. So, the argument here is the age of the Earth. Problem is, this clip is so long. It's past, present, future, a trinity. Put it. Hmm? You have to have all three simultaneously. People say, what did God do for millions of years before the creation? <laughs> it doesn't happen, okay? Con That's the conservation of angular momentum. Look at that. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning objects break apart and the fragments fly the same direction, spin the same direction. So when they tell you that it all came from a spinning dot, it's silly. It violates common sense laws. Two planets, Venus and Uranus, are spinning back. This is exactly what we need, the conservation of angular momentum backwards. Eight of the 91 known moons are spinning backwards. God created the heaven and the earth. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So when they tell you it spun faster and faster and one day it exploded, that's simply stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. So we have cosmic evolution, which I th There you go. That's what we need. That clip right there. They're out in the field someplace. It breaks apart. We'll send all like a tree or telephone. The Mary stop, please go. Eat those things. Then the textbook says this little tiny dot was spinning. It spun fast. There we go. That's the part we need. So take that, control X, and then we'll go find where this girl said that, where she said it was over here, right? There we go. So how a spinning figure skater slows objects moving together, like the Earth and the Moon. Angular momentum depends on. There we go beyond the influence of Earth's gravity. But the reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us, a principle known as the conservation of angular momentum. In physics, angular momentum describes some Earth, which would have made it look 17 times bigger in the sky than it does now. Talk about a moonlit night. You would Right here. You would think that if the moon keeps slipping away, it would eventually drift beyond the influence of Earth's gravity. But the reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us, a principle known as the conservation of angular momentum. In physics, angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. That something can be one object, like a figure skater, or it can be a system of multiple objects moving together. All right, so right here, where she says, why it will never leave us. Six, right here, conservation of angular momentum. momentum. In physics. Right there. Momentum. Boom. So go right back to this frame, click insert, and we just stuck our main clip right there in the middle of it. But we don't want this whole long clip here. We want to break it up a little bit. Known as the conservation of angular momentum. This little tiny dot was spinning. It spun faster and faster. Yes, boys and girls, and one day it exploded. <laughs> Big bang. Well, if you take a merry-go-round, put some kids on there. Get the merry-go-round. All right, right here. So you might want to move this before it and pull that in there. Angular momentum. Well, if you take a merry-go-round, put some kids on there. Get the merry-go-round going clockwise as fast as it'll go. The kids go through distinct phases. In phase one, they're screaming at the football players. Come on, let's go faster, faster. You get up around, you know, 30 miles an hour. Actually, let me undo that. Momentum. This little tiny dot was spinning. It spun faster and faster. Mm, we might want to give her a little more time to say what she has to say. Conservation of angular momentum. In physics, angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. That something can be one object, like a figure skater, or it can be a system of multiple objects moving together, like the Earth and the Moon. Ang the Earth. Earth and like together right there boom multiple objects moving together well if you take a merry-go-round put some kids on there right there it's moving together well if you take a merry-go-round put some kids on there get the merry-go-round going clockwise as fast as it'll go the kids go through distinct phase okay so then over here the way it happened of multiple objects moving together that's where we ended it happened like the Earth and the Moon. Ang angular momentum depends on two things, the way the system's mass is distributed and how fast it's rotating. When the momentum is conserved, that means it has to stay constant. 
So if the rotation speed changes, the way the mass is distributed also has to change to compensate, and vice versa. You know how a spinning figure is conserved? That means it has to stay constant. Right here. So if the rotation speed changes, the way the mass is distributed also has to change to compensate, and vice versa. You know how a spinning figure skater slows down when they extend their arms? That's conservation of angular momentum. Extending their arms moves some mass farther away from their body, which would increase their angular momentum. So their rotation speed slows down to compensate and keep their angular momentum the same. Something similar happens with the Earth and the Moon. The way things are now, the Moon's gravity tugs on the Earth, creating tidal bulges. But be Hmm, right there. Tidal bulges. Gravity tugs on the way things are now. And I think we can forget about all this junk. It has to stay constant. We can get all rid of all that, I think. Stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. The way things are now, the moon's gravity tugs on the Earth, creating tidal bulges. But because our planet rotates faster than the moon orbits, the bulge spins ahead of the moon. As the moon pulls it, Earth's rotation slows down. Forces always come in equal and opposite pairs. Thanks, Mr. Newton. So the Earth is simultaneously tugging on the moon to try to make it catch up. The Earth loses a lot of energy due to friction as its insides and the oceans slosh around during this whole process which also slows its spin. Since the Earth's rotation is slowing down, some mass in the Earth's moon system moves further from the center to compensate. And that mass, in this case, is the moon. Theoretically, tens of billions of years from now, this- This is what we need. This tug of war between the Earth and moon would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the moon's orbit. The length of one day would be the same as one- Okay, I think that's what we need. Billions of years and moon would cause the Earth's rotation tens of billions of is the moon. The Theoretically, tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the Earth and moon would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the moon's orbit. The length of one day would be the same as one lunar month with that extended orbit. Exactly match the moon's orbit. Whoops. Lunar month with that extended orbit. Match the moon's orbit. The Okay, right there. I think we can get rid of all this. The part they get. It's like spokes out in the field someplace. No, <laughs> it doesn't happen, okay? Conservation of angular momentum says spinning objects break apart and the fragments fly the same direction, spin the same direction. So when they tell you that it all came from a spinning dot, it's silly, it violates common sense laws. Two planets, Venus and Uranus, are spinning backwards. Eight of the 91 doesn't happen, okay? That's, this is actually probably all we need right here. Conservation of angular. This is all we probably need right here. I don't think we need Conservation of angular. Clockwise. The kid, even after he leaves, is spinning clockwise. I don't think we need all that. So let's just see. Moon would cause the Earth's rotation. Right here. Big Bang theories. We're going to edit that out. Wrong direction. Same time. Some whole galaxies are spinning backwards. CNN, goofy galaxy spins wrong direction. <laughs> directions at the same time. Some whole galaxies of the 91 known moons are spinning backwards. Three planets have moons going both directions at the same time. Right here, paste it with my insert key. So now if we watch just this section alone, we have this. You would think that if the moon keeps slipping away, it would eventually drift beyond the influence of Earth's gravity. But the reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us, a principle known as the conservation of angular momentum. In physics... Actually, I don't want all this beginning part. I want this. Us. A principle known... I want this. Gravity. But... Right here. The reason it's moving away also explains... Yes, boys and girls, and one day it exploded. The reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us. Where's the first part? 2,500 kilometers from Earth. The moon stably orbits the Earth at an average distance of 384,000 kilometers. That's not completely true, though. So, right here. Every year, the moon's orbit. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. But luckily for us, we don't have to worry about the moon ever getting so far that it breaks free. On average. 
further away. But luckily for us, we don't have to worry about the moon ever getting so far that it breaks free. On average, the moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year, at around the same rate as your fingernails. That rate has varied, varied a lot, growing about 3.8 centimeters per year. That's all we need. It has varied a lot since the moon nails. That is your fingernails. Cut this out. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. Back then. Right there. Just need that. Then Mars 22, which would have made it look 17 as now. Talk about it. look 17 times bigger in this. Which would have made it does now. Talk okay, we don't need that. So here we are. Close this. Close this. What's this one? Back. This little tiny dot was spinning. It spun faster. Ago. Back. This little tiny dot. A billion years ago. Back. A billion years ago. This little tiny dot was spinning. It spun faster and faster. Yes, boys and girls, and one day it exploded. <laughs> Big bang. The reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us a principle known as the conservation of angular momentum. In physics, angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. That something can be one object, like a figure skater, or it can be a system of multiple objects moving together. Conservation of angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. That's, That's all we need right there. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning objects break apart and the fragments fly the same direction, spin the same direction. So you can fix that. Fragments fly the same direction. Break apart and the fragments fly. Fly. Fly the same direc direction. Right here, spin. Cut that out. Objects break apart and the fragments spin the same direction. Break apart and the fragments spin the same direction. Uh, I'm going to add the S here. Direction. And the fragments spin the same direction. And the fragments spin. And the fragments spin the same direction. I have a double it, a double S there. Fragments. This needs to come over here. The fragments spin the same. Part and the fragments spin the same. Crossfade, shrink it. And the fragments spin the same direction. So when they tell you that it all came from a spinning dot, it's silly. It violates common sense laws. Two planets, Venus and Uranus, are spinning backwards. Eight of the 91 known moons are spinning backwards. Three planets have moons going both directions at the same time. Theoretically, tens of billions of years from now. Take off theoretically the same time. Tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the Earth and Moon would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the Moon's orbit. Some whole galaxies are spinning backwards. CNN. Whoops. Orbit. Some whole galaxies are spinning backwards. CNN. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? Match the Moon's orbit. Some whole galaxies are spinning backwards. Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So when they tell you it spun faster and faster and one day it exploded, that's simply stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. Flow to exactly match the moon's orbit. Some whole galaxies are spinning backwards. CNN, goofy galaxies. Let's move this over. Whoops, pull this out. Some whole galaxies are spinning backwards. Tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the earth and moon would cause the earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the moon's orbit. CNN, goofy galaxy spins wrong direction. Fix the video. To exactly match the moon's orbit. CNN, goofy galaxy spins wrong direction. <laughs> or pull it this way. Mm, I don't think so. Orbit. CNN, goofy galaxy spins wrong. No, we don't want that. To exactly match the moon. We can pull this out a little further match the moon's orbit. CNN, goofy galaxy spins wrong direction. <laughs> Crossfade the audio. Match the moon's orbit. CNN, goofy galaxy. Mm, bring that back. The moon's orbit. CNN, goofy galaxy spins wrong direction. <laughs> Not the way it happened. The same as one lunar month of the moon, only one side of the Earth would fail the moon. So our sun will have grown into a red giant. 
So I guess you start here as our sun will have grown into a red giant. Like say that the moon will leave Earth's orbit, but only because it'll... After only a couple of billion years, our sun will have grown into a red giant. Grown into? It'll come crashing back into Earth when the sun reaches its midlife crisis. Until then, we're here to answer all of your burning science questions. Thanks, thanks to the support <laughs> from our Patreon patrons. <laughs> answer all of your burning science questions. Right there, that's all we need. Earth when the sun reaches its midlife crisis. Right here is all we need. Cut that out. One day it exploded. That's simply stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. Until then, we're here to answer all of your burning science questions. Not the way it happened. Until then. Okay, that's not the way it happened. Until then, we're here to answer all. <laughs> heaven and the earth. So when they tell you it spun faster and faster and one day it exploded, that's simply. A lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. This little tiny dot. Okay. Luckily for us, we don't have to worry about the moon ever getting so. We don't need any of that. So we've used her up. Uh, I still want to find one more part. In phase one, they're screaming and you get around 60 miles and 100 miles an hour merry-go-round. If the merry-go-round is going clockwise, the kid, even after he leaves, is spinning clockwise until he encounters resistance, like angular momentum. A spinning object... That's because of a law known as the conservation of angular momentum. A spinning object that breaks apart will... A spinning object that breaks apart will send... All and all the fragments off spinning in the same direction. And people say, what if they collide? They can't collide. The, farther, the longer you wait, the further apart they get. It's like spokes on a wheel. They're getting farther apart. If a hand grenade explodes, can the fragments ever hit each other out in the field someplace? No, <laughs> it doesn't happen. Happen, okay? Okay. And people say, what? There we go, cut that a little shorter. People say, what if they collide? They can't collide. The farther, the longer you... That right here, we could control X and find the spot for it. Moon ...would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the moon never leave us, a principle known as the conservation of angular momentum. In physics, angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning objects break apart and the fragments spin the same direction. So when they tell you that it all came from a spinning dot, all right, so... Pause. Two planets of the 91... The reason... Boys and girls, and one day it exploded. Here we go. ...five billion years information about four point is why it will never leave us. A principle known as the conservation of angular momentum. In Let's paste it <laughs> here and see what it does. A little experimenting. Doesn't happen, okay? In physics, angular momentum. momentum. Spinning object that breaks apart will send all the fragments off. Spinning. Observation of angular momentum. Spinning. Momentum. A spinning object. Observation of angular momentum. A spinning object that breaks apart will send all the fragments off, spinning in the same direction. And people say, what if they collide? They can't collide. The farther, the longer you wait, the further apart they get. It's like spokes on a wheel. They're getting farther apart. If a hand grenade explodes, can the fragments ever hit each other out in the field someplace? No, <laughs> it doesn't happen, okay? Right there, just use that part only. If a hand grenade explodes, can the fragments ever hit each other out in the field someplace? No, <laughs> it doesn't happen, okay? In physics, angular momentum describes... Okay. In... Okay. In physics... A little fade. But okay. In physics, angular momentum describes something. Okay. In physics, angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning objects break apart and the fragments spin the same direction. Thing once it's started. Conservation of angular momentum says spin in the same sense laws both directions. Tens of billions of spinning backwards. Tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the Earth and Moon would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the Moon's orbit. CNN, Goofy Galaxy spins wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, that's too much Cut it, cutting. From now, this tug of war between... Here we go. We need to change this. We need to take this clip, uh, close this in, 
Fade it. Backwards. CNN, Goofy Galaxy spin. To stay rotating once it's started. Conservation of Bank. Um, put her here, paste it. Once it's started. Tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the. This needs to move over here. And this one can go here. I think we almost have something. Angular momentum. A spinning up. <sighs> almost have something. The moon's formation about. I'm missing this one part. Mister. Yes, boys and girls, and one day it exploded. <laughs> Big bang. All right, so maybe that can go there, actually. Let's paste it and see how it flows. So we have a segment here. Let's watch the segment. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation. Oh, no, about that's the wrong clip. Little tiny dot was bang. It will never leave us. A principle known as the. I lost the clip. About 4.5 billion. So far that it breaks free. On average, the moon's orbit is currently growing. All right. Just take this. We're missing the moon part. That's what we're missing. The moon stably orbits the Earth at an average distance of 384,000. That's not completely true, though. Every year, the moon's orbit gets... Every year, the moon's every year the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. But luckily for us, but that's it. So where does he talk about we're losing the moon? That's over in this clip over here, right? No, it's not in that clip. It's in this clip. So Control X. Paste it. And my name's Ken Hoven. I taught high school. All three of my kids and their spouse. That's not it either. Where's the clip? It's this one. I believe the Bible is literally true and scientifically accurate. And I think the evolution theory that's being taught in our schools is one of the dumbest and most dangerous religions on planet Earth. Okay. Whoops. The Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. Okay, we want to put a clip there, but I don't know where the clip is just yet. So when you think about the fact that the Earth is 4.5 billion years old, that gives you an understanding of how much time there has been for evolution to take place. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 100 supernova rains ever discovered? That's only a few thousand years worth. I mean, if a star is blowing up every 30 years, there ought to be millions of these supernova rings if the universe were millions of years old. Don't tell me it's millions of years old. I don't believe you. That's just not common sense. We need to realize that time is the critical factor here. And time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time, things get better. OK, why, why over here? Let me see. A factor. This volume. That is. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 300? Okay. To here. We're considering evolution. Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time, things get better. That's silly, OK? You give things time, they get worse. Here's Sue at 20. <laughs> Here she is at 90. <laughs> they don't. They don't get better. <laughs> Some of these planets are cooling off. They're constantly losing their heat. Hmm. Some of these planets are. Some of these planets are cooling off. They're constantly losing their heat. Okay, and the textbooks is telling us they're millions of years old, billions of years old. You can't just keep cooling off and cooling off. Pretty soon, it's cooled off. I mean, if you walked into a room and found a cup of coffee sitting on the table, and I said, don't touch the coffee, that's hot. And you said, well, whose is it? I said, I don't know. It's been sitting there for 400 years. <laughs> that's stupid, OK? Now, if we go back to the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, 
it was a very different place. All we found in the early Earth's atmosphere is high amounts of carbon dioxide. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong magnetic field. Scientists are kind of perplexed by this because the magnetic field indicates a hot molten core, and yet Ganymede should have cooled off billions of years ago. Why does Ganymede still have a hot molten core and a strong magnetic field? To say it's billions of years old is stupid. It's just lacking common intelligence. Saturn has rings around it, but the rings are constantly expanding. They're moving away from the planet. To say they're billions of years old is stupid. They can't be billions of years old. They would have been dissipated by now. They're not billions of years old. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. But luckily for us, we don't have to worry about the moon ever getting so far that it breaks free. On average, the moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year at around the same rate as your fingernails. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. The moon is going farther away from the Earth every year. We're slowly losing the moon. Now this is gonna be complicated, so listen carefully. As the moon goes around the Earth, it's gradually getting farther away, spiraling out about three inches a year. So that means that it used to be closer. Well, if you bring the moon in closer, you start to create a problem, you see, because the moon causes the tides. Now, you folks here in Denver probably don't worry about the tides. <laughs> but in Pensacola, you worry about the tides, okay? Well, if you brought the moon in close, We don't need that little joke. We need her. Where was she? From this clip here. Hold Alt. We need this part. Let's see. <laughs> She's talking about 17 times bigger. Where is it? There we go. So that rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. Back same rate as your fingernails. This part. That rate, it was as close as 22,500 kilometers from Earth, which would have made it look 17 times bigger in the sky than it does now. Talk, talk about a moonlit night. You would... Shut up. Now. Now. All right, that part we want over... leave us a principle no spinning and faster has varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion it's a little bigger and our oh we're back here i'm losing my spot as the moon causes the tides right here paste it now you folks here in denver probably don't worry about the tides oh i thought we got rid of that part back then well if you bring the causes the tides Then models the tides. Back then, causes the tides. Back then, models suggest it was as close as 22,500 kilometers from Earth. Back then, models suggest it was as close. I hear this little noise there. Back then, models suggest it was as, as close as 22,500 kilometers from Earth which would have made it look 17 times bigger in the sky than it does now. Well, if you brought the moon in closer, you'd create a serious problem because there's a law called the inverse square law. And it does now. Well, if you brought the moon in closer, you'd create a serious problem. Okay. They got moon. <laughs> to teach us the, Earth, the moon is billions of years old while it's constantly moving away and nobody knows of any factors that would re reverse that situation. This is where she says. A lot since the moon's Right there, that's for her little rescue device. Paste it with insert. Constantly moving away and nobody knows of any factors that would reverse that situation. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. That, that, that's just stupid, okay? It can't be true. <laughs> years ago. That, that's just stupid, okay? It can't be true. People that have studied this say about 1.2 to 1 meter in the past. Big object that breaks apart will send 
the reason it's moving away is a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. Eight centimeters per year, at around the same rate as your fingernails. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation. The moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year. Back then, models suggest it was a thing that was bigger in the sky. What happened? I just erased too much. They're away from the Earth every 4.5 billion years ago. No. Rate as your fingernails. No, we don't want that. So that rate has varied all the time. We can cut off the logo cut. Centimeters per year. At around the same rate as your... ...8 centimeters per year. The moon is going farther away from the Earth every year. To say they're billions of years old is stupid. They, they're not billions of years old. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. But luckily for us, we don't have to worry about the moon ever getting so far that it breaks free. On average, 0.5 billion years ago. That, that's just stupid, okay? It can't be true. Right there. Now we're going to take this. The moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves... Don't need that. We're going to take this whole section we edited cut it and put it in right here I suppose insert and let's see how some of this flows now ever getting so far that it breaks free on average the moon no, we don't need that either free on average average the free on average the right here and our favorite side is stupid. They moon is going far. It is currently growing that it breaks free. Luckily for us, we don't a little farther away. But a little farther away. But slowly losing the moon. Now this is going to be complicated, so listen carefully. Rolling out about three. So that means that it used to be closer. As the moon goes around the Earth, it's gradually getting farther away. Listen carefully. The orbit is current. The moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. The moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year. The moon is going farther away. Cut that out. It moves just a little farther away. The moon is going farther away from the Earth every year. We're slowly losing the moon. Right there. Paste it right there. Now, this is going to be complicated. A little farther away. The moon. All right, so let's check out this whole segment here. Molten. It's stupid. It's just lacking common intelligence. Saturn has rings around it, but the rings are constantly expanding. They're moving away from the planet. To say they're billions of years old is stupid. They can't be billions of years old. They would have been dissipated by now. They're not billions of years old. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. The moon is going farther away from the Earth every year. We're slowly losing the moon. The moon's orbit is currently growing about... A little sound there. A little audio defect. The moon's... The moon. The moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year. Now, this is going to be complicated, so listen carefully. As the moon goes around the Earth, it's gradually getting farther away. It's spiraling out about three inches a year. So that means that it used to be closer. Well, if you bring the moon in closer, you start to create a problem, you see, because the moon causes the tides. Back then, models suggest it was as close as 22,500 kilometers from Earth, which would have made it look 17 times bigger in the sky than it does now. Well, if you brought the moon in closer, you'd create a serious problem, because there's a law called the inverse square law. If you bring the moon in to one-third the distance, you take the one-third, inverse it, square it, it's nine times the gravitational pull. If you run all the math on this, you'll find 1.2 billion years ago, the moon was whizzing around just above the surface of the Earth. That explains what happened to the tall dinosaur. They got moon. So, 
to teach us the, Earth, the moon is billions of years old while it's constantly moving away, and nobody knows of any factors that would reverse that situation. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. That, that's just stupid, okay? It can't be true. This little tiny dot was spinning. It spun faster oh, and faster. Sorry. We don't need that part right there. That, that, that's just stupid, okay? Situation. That rate has varied a lot. Lot. That rate has varied. That rate has varied a lot since the moon's formation. A principle. This little tiny dot was spinning. It spun faster and faster. Yes, boys and girls, and one day it exploded. This needs to cut out. Cut it. Shrink it. Blend it. Can't be true. The reason it's moving. Oh, undo that. Pull that here. It can't be true. The reason it's moving. Eh. Actually, I need to move this over more. So if I want to move this over easy, I would copy that and then insert it, delete it, and now I have more room. True. Close it here. True. The reason it's moved. And just fix that. Good. Okay, it can't be true. The reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us. A principle known as the... Oh. Wait a minute, I lost something. I gotta undo, 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 undo. Undo. What did I do? Undo this whole section. All right. Be true. Right here, close that gap. Can't be true. Reason it's moving a... Whoops. The reason it's moving. It can't be true. The reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us. Something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. If a hand grenade explodes, can the fragments ever hit each other? No, we don't need that. We need this. Paste it. Bring it in. Try this. Rotating once it's started. This little tiny dot was spinning. It's. Once it started, this little tiny dot was once it started. This little tiny ah, oh, we got a bad cut here. Once it started, this little tiny dot was. We got this clip is moving, and at the same time, this clip is moving. So, in order to fix that, we'll just bring. We'll just try that. See how that works. Rotating once it started. This little tiny dot was spinning. It spun faster and faster. Once it started. This. Well, let's just take this. Find where it starts right there. And we'll just grab this right here. Hold Alt and just drag it over. This little tiny dot, boys and girls, and one day it exploded. That's it. Yes, boys and girls, and one day it exploded. <laughs> Big bang. Tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the Earth and Moon would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the Moon's orbit. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning up the Moon's orbit. Cons I'm not sure. Match the moon's orbit. Conservation. To slow to exactly match the moon's orbit. Conservation of angular orbit. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning. Orbit. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning objects bang. Tens of billions of years from now, this tug of war between the Earth and Moon would cause the Earth's rotation to slow to exactly match the Moon's orbit. Conservation of angular momentum says spinning objects break apart and the fragments spin the same direction. So when they tell you that it all came... Yes, boys and girls. Angular momentum describes something's tendency to stay rotating once it's started. This, this is wrong, this clip right here. It needs to be something else. 
needs to be when she's talking about explaining what it is with the ice skater. Their arms, that's conservation of angular momentum. Extending their arms moves some constant. So if the rotation speed changes, the way the mass is distributed also has to change to compensate and, and vice versa. You, you know how a spinning figure skater slows down when they extend their arms? That's conservation of angular momentum. That's all we need. Cut that. Come back in. Paste it. Close those gaps. Bang. You know how a spinning... Big bang. You know how a spinning... Big bang. You know how a spinning figure skater... Or momentum. Ex Conservation of angle. Angular momentum. Ex Conservation of angle. of angular momentum. Conservation of angular momentum. Conservation of angular momentum. You know how a spinning figure skater slows down when they extend their arms? That's conservation of angular momentum. Conservation. All right, I think we've seen enough. That's the gist of it. What's this here? 4.5 billion years ago. That varied a lot since the moon's form. I think we already have that part. One day it exploded. That's until then. Spinning objects spun faster and faster. Wait, where did that go? Stupid. Okay, it can't be true. The reason it's moving away. Angular momentum. A spin. Varied a lot since the moon's formation about 4.5 billion years ago. That, that's just stupid. Okay, it can't. Years ago. That, that's. billion years ago. That, that's just stupid, okay? It can't be true. The reason it's moving away also explains why it will never leave us. A principle known as the... Got this one. 84,000 kilometers. That's not completely true, though. Every year... Don't need any of that. ...or leave us. A principle known as... So the Earth is... Yeah, we, we got all we need from her. Now, what about this dude? Let's see what he's got going on. I believe the Bible... Cool. Um, what I needed is the, uh, rub you melt grain. What I need is that explains what happened to the Here we go. We'll continue to be a topic for inquiry. Let me give you the Hoven translation. <clears throat> It's okay to inquire how life evolved. It is not okay to inquire whether it evolved. That's stupid. Is this education or indoctrination? This is hey, what kids, we, we know life evolved. Now you got to try to figure out how it happened. How about if we even question, did it evolve? Oh, no, you can't question that. You cannot question that. We know it evolved. Now just figure out how it happened. That's not education. That's indoctrination. Yuri and Miller in the 1950s wanted to know how the Earth and solar system had come to be. That's it. That's all we need there. The Bible says God created the history of life on involving a supernatural. So they got to figure out a way how life and what to do, bottom line. The Bible says God created is the fourth stage. That's where life gets started from non-living material. The Bible says God created the living creatures. And there, God, leave me alone. So they got to figure out a way how they're creating it. The Bible says God created it. This textbook says the history of life on Earth began approximately three and a half billion years ago. How this occurred says the history of life on Earth created it. This part I believe we can use. Let's try this. Earth is 4.5 billion years old. Paste it. That the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. This textbook says the history of life on Earth began approximately three and a half billion years ago. How this occurred and has been and will continue to be a topic for inquiry. Let me give you the Hoven translation. <clears throat> it's okay to inquire how life evolved. It is not okay to inquire whether it evolved. That's stupid. Is this education or indoctrination? Hey kids, we know life evolved. Now you got to try to figure out how it happened. 
how about if we even question, did it evolve? Oh, no, you can't question that. You cannot question that. We know it evolved. Now just figure out how it happened. That's not education. That's indoctrination. That gives you an understanding of how much time there has been for evolution to take place. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 300 supernova rings ever discovered? That's only a few thousand. This shouldn't be here. Evolution to take place. I mean, if a star is blowing up, don't tell me it's millions of years old. I don't believe you. That's just not common sense. We need to realize that time is the critical factor here. And time is... Mm, right here. All right, this clip should be... 0.5 billion... If the universe is billions of years... That, this should be there. Sorry. This should be here. This needs to go somewhere else. That gives you an understanding. Old. So when you think about the fact that the Earth is 4.5... Actually, this needs to go here. I'm still missing a clip that I'm looking for. Years old. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 300 supernova rings ever discovered? That's only a few thousand years worth. See how... I mean, if a star is blowing up every 30 oh, no. years, there's probably fork. millions of these. See how he says... Years old. See how he says... Five billion years old. Billion years old, and then what the next thing that comes up is... If the universe is billions of years old... Billions of years old. So that's how you edit to match context. This guy says billion years ago or old or whatever. The next guy says billions years, billions of years old. That's how you put it together, but I'm still missing one thing I want him to say. The Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 300 supernova rings ever discovered? That's only a few thousand years worth. I mean, if a star is blowing up every 30 years, there ought to be millions of these supernova rings if the universe were millions of years old. Blue cheese. Don't tell me it's millions of years old. I don't believe you. That's just not common sense. So when you think about the fact that the Earth is 4.5 billion years old... This textbook says, the history of life on Earth began approximately 3.5 billion years ago. How this occurred and has been and will continue to be a topic for inquiry. Let me give you the Hovind translation. <clears throat> It's okay to inquire how life evolved. It is not okay to inquire whether it evolved. That's stupid. Is this education or indoctrination? Hey, kids, we know life evolved. Now, you got to try to figure out how it happened. How about if we even question, did it evolve? Oh, no, you can't question that. You cannot question that. We know it evolved. Now, just figure out how it happened. That's not education. That's indoctrination. That gives you an understanding of how much time there has been for evolution to take place. We need to realize that time is the critical factor here. That's where I messed up. How much time there has been. This does need to go here. Is old. That evolution to take place. This textbook says. There we go. Fixed. It's indoctrination. We need to realize that time is the critical factor here. And time is going to be a key factor. I want to find where he says long ago and far away. The best way to probably find that is to go to the video itself, skip through it, the media player classic. Closer you start to create folk world where it's nine times who they just version could do. So they gotta fit and and down to that person see it. Can you believe they cut down a tree? First of the oceans is a bubbling broth of that's stupid, okay? First of the ocean from our flex molecule from living organic organically, okay? The first self-replicating systems must have emerged in this organic soup.
Living cells emerge. Four and three billion, three point eight billion years ago, living cells emerge. Okay, forget looking at it here because we're gonna want to cut it. So, gotta find it here. Progress from a complex molecule, from complex molecules to even the simplest living organism was a very long process. Yes, there boys and girls, you see, it. long ago and far away. This is exactly what I wanted. It was the evolution of life. Major difference here, okay? Textbook says students are taught that life, students are taught that, yes, boys and girls, you see, long ago and far away. They hide it in antiquity. Well, if you just imagine, you go back far enough, it happened. Oh, yeah, I must have. This one says, between four and three billion, 3.8 billion years ago, living cells emerged. There's no record of the event. That's stupid, OK? The first self-replicating systems must have emerged in this organic soup. Yep, that's we it. all came from soup. Now that's. That's it. That's what I needed. Question. Billion is, is old in for evolution to take place. This textbook says the history of life on Earth began approximately three and a half billion years ago. How this occurred. Let's pop this in here. Try this out. This textbook says the history of life on Earth. How about a key factor that you need to consider? when we're considering evolution. Evolutionists assume that time is the critical factor here. And time If you give enough when we're considering if we even question did it evolve the event. This textbook says the history <laughs> of yourself sitting on the table and I said don't touch different place. All we found in the early Earth's atmosphere is high <clears throat> it's okay to inquire how a place. All we found in it is not okay to inquire. <clears throat> it's okay to inquire. Let me give you the Hovind translation. <clears throat> Take out his little grunt. Hovind translation. It's okay to inquire how life evolved. It is not okay to inquire whether it evolved. That's stupid. Give me to give you the Hovind translation. It's okay to inquire how life. Hey kids, we know life evolved. Now you got to try to figure out how it did it evolve. Oh, that's indoctrination. Let's see what this guy has to say. It's life on Earth. So in biology, when we're talking about evolution, we're talking about how over time. This is what we need. Life has gone from simple organisms to more complex and diverse, which means more types of organisms. It takes time, <laughs> and time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. Yeah, sure. It's evolution. So first of all, we need a really clear definition for what is evolution. Well. Here you can see evolution is a... That's what we need. Cut it. Got to raise the volume. To see ending of how much... Billion years ago. This textbook says the history... How this occurred and has been and will continue to be a topic... That's stupid. Billion years old. Students are taught that life evolved evolution to take place. Students are taught that life evolved from non for evolution to take place. I don't want that static sound there. Take place. Students are taught that Oops. Take place. Students are taught that Still has it. Take place. Students are taught that life evolved from non-living materials like this one. Many important events occur that's stupid, okay? This textbook has been common sense. 
So when you think about the fact that the Earth is right here, let's paste this. Of more when we and let's move this over here. Record of the event. That's stupid. Okay. So when you think about the evolution to take place. This textbook says, the history of life on Earth began approximately three and a half billion years ago. How this occurred and has been and will continue to be a topic for inquiry. Let me give you the Hovind translation. It's okay to Earth began approximately three and a half billion years ago. How this occurred and has been and will continue and has been and Take out the word and because it's not in the written text there. Has been and will continue. How this occurred has been and will continue. There's no record of the event. That's indoctrination. We need to realize that time is the critical factor. I don't believe you. That's just not common sense. So first of all, we need a really universe. Sense. Whoops. Hit render. Uh, we got to boost up this volume here. Boost up this volume. Slap the multi band on. Is a process of still not loud enough. Gradual. Needs a denoiser. Denoiser. And progress. Common sense. So, first of all, we need a really clear definition for what is evolution. Well, here you can see evolution is a process of gradual for what is evolution. Well, here you can see right here. Not common sense. Evolution is a eh. not common sense. Evolution is whoops. Common sense. Evolution. What? Why is it glitching? Common sense. Evolution is a pro. Not common sense. Evolution is a process of gradual. We're talking about how over time, students are taught that life evolved. Development of more time, life has gone from simple organisms to more complex and diverse, which means more types of organisms. It takes time, and time is going to be a key factor that you time, life has gone from simple organisms to more complex and diverse, which, which means more types. If you give enough time, things get patient. That's indoctrination. We need to realize that time is the critical factor here. And time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time, things get better. That's silly, okay? You give things time, they get worse. Here's Sue at 20. Complex and diverse, which means more tight. We're talking about how over time, life has gone. We need to realize that time is the critical energy when we're talking about evolution. Factor here. And time is going to be a key factor and diverse life on critical factor here. And time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider. When Audio sounds different. Earth. So in biology, when we're talking about evolution, we're talking about how over time, life has gone from simple organisms to more complex and diverse, which means more types of organisms. It 
progressive change that has resulted in the development of more complex and diverse life on Earth. So in biology, when we're talking about evolution, we're talking about how over time, life has gone from simple organisms to more complex and diverse, which means more types of organisms. It takes time, and time is going types diverse, which means more types. And time is going to be a key that time is the critical factor here and time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider that you need to consider and time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider takes time is the critical factor it's indoctrination we need to realize that time is the critical factor here it takes time and time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. Critical factor here. And time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. We need to realise that time is the critical factor here. And time of organisms. It takes time. which means more types of organisms. It takes time. Students are taught that life evolved from non-living materials, like this one. Many important events. Types ...of organisms. Okay. Whoops. I want to take this. ...a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time, things get better. Some of these planets are cooling off. That's it. That's where I want to cut. I want to take this. That's indoctrination. And cut it. Nation. Some of these. Whoops. Maybe leave that for a second. Life has gone from simple of organisms. It takes time. And time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering cooling off. They're constantly off pretty soon. They don't touch. That's stupid. Okay. Now, if we go back to the Earth 4.5, <sighs> that's indoctrination. We need to realise that time is the critical factor here. It takes time, and time is and diverse, which means more types of organisms. That's stupid. How should assume that if you give enough time, things get better? And time is going to be a key factor. Realise that time is the critical factor, which means more Take that out. More types. Students are taught that life evolved from non-living materials, like this one. Many important events occurred during... ...billion years ago, it was a very different... ...our theory of evolution. There has been an enormous... ...it in antiquity. So in... Wow, this video wave, this audio wave is so bad. I'm going to copy that, paste it on here. Five billion years ago, so let's watch it in context now. I believe the Bible is literally true and scientifically accurate, and I think the evolution theory that's being taught in our schools is one of the dumbest and most dangerous religions on planet Earth. Okay. The Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 300 supernova rings ever discovered? Supernova rings. 
old. Old. If the universe is built in years old. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 300 supernova rings ever discovered? That's only a few thousand years worth. I mean, if a star is blowing up every 30 years, there ought to be millions of these supernova rings if the universe were millions of years old. Don't tell me it's millions. I was taking out the tack times cut. What I was trying to say when my mic was off was that I'm cutting back on the tack times cuts and I'm only using them when it transitions to a new idea, a new topic, uh, or when it needs to be there as a transition. But if it doesn't need to be there, let's not put it there. It's for millions of years old. So let's watch again. Trist religions on planet Earth. Okay. The Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. If the universe is billions of years old, why are there less than 300 supernova rings ever discovered? That's only a few thousand years worth. I mean, if a star is blowing up every 30 years, there ought to be millions of these supernova rings if the universe were millions of years old. Don't tell me it's millions of years old. I don't believe you. That's just not common sense. Evolution is a process of gradual and progressive change that has resulted in the development of more complex and diverse life on Earth. So in biology, when we're talking about evolution, we're talking about how over time, life has gone from simple organisms to more complex and diverse, which means more types. Students are taught that life evolved from non-living materials, like this one. Many important events occurred during the Archean era, most important of which was the evolution of life. Progress from a complex molecule, from complex molecules to even the simplest living organism was a very long process. Yes, boys and girls, you see, long ago and far away. They hide it in antiquity. Well, if you just imagine, you go back far enough, it happened. Oh, yeah, I must have. This one says, between four and three billion, 3.8 billion years ago, living cells emerged. There's no record of the event. That's stupid, okay? So when you think about the fact that the Earth is 4.5 billion years old, that gives you an understanding of how much time there has been for evolution to take place. This textbook says, the history of life on Earth began approximately three and a half billion. I heard a little cut, a little static there. Take place. This text. Yeah, let's not use that cut unless we have to. Place. This text to take place. This textbook Oops. to take place. This textbook says the history of life on Earth began approximately three and a half billion years ago. How this occurred has been and will continue to be a topic for inquiry. Let me give you the Hoven translation. It's okay to inquire how life evolved. It is not okay to inquire whether it evolved. That's stupid. Is this education or indoctrination? Hey kids, we know life evolved. Now you gotta try to figure out how it happened. How about if we even question, did it evolve? Oh no, you can't question that. You cannot question that. We know it evolved, now just figure out how it happened. That's not education, that's indoctrination. We need to realize that time is the critical factor here. And time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider. That time is the critical factor here. And time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time, things get better. That's silly, okay? Evolution. Evolutionists assume. Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time. Evolutionists assume that
evolution. Evolutionists assume during evolution. Evolutionists assume that if you give enough time, things get better. That's silly, okay? You give things time, they get worse. Here's Sue at 20. <laughs> Here she is at 90. <laughs> they don't. They don't get better. <laughs> Some of these planets are cooling off. They're constantly losing their heat, okay? And the textbooks is telling us they're millions of years old, billions of years old. You can't just keep cooling off and cooling off. Pretty soon it's cooled off. I mean, if you walked into a room and found a cup of coffee sitting on the table and I said, don't touch the coffee, that's hot. And you said, well, whose is it? I said, I don't know. It's been sitting there for 400 years. <laughs> that's stupid, okay? Now, if we go back to the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, it was a very different place. All we found in the early Earth's atmosphere is high amounts of carbon dioxide. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong magnetic field. Scientists are kind of perplexed by this because the magnetic field indicates a hot molten core, and yet Ganymede should have cooled off billions of years ago. Why does Ganymede still have a hot molten core and a strong magnetic field? To say it's billions of years old is stupid. It's just lacking common intelligence. Saturn has rings around it, but the rings are constantly expanding. They're moving away from the planet. To say they're billions of years old is stupid. They can't be billions of years old. They would have been dissipated by now. They're not billions of years old. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. The moon is going farther away from the Earth every year. We're slowly losing the moon. The moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year. Now, this is going to be complicated, so listen carefully. As the moon goes around the Earth, it's gradually getting farther away, it's spiraling out about three inches a year. I think all that section is good. I'm just not sure about this section. OK. <laughs> Pretty soon, it's cooled off. This section. The Earth's atmosphere is high amounts of carbon dioxide. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong magnetic field. Scientists are going to okay. Now, if we go carbon dioxide. This because of billions of years ago. Why does Ganymede still have a hot molten core? And a, it's stupid. It's just lacking common intelligence. Saturn has rings around it, but the rings are constantly expanding. They're moving away from the planet. To say they're billions of years old is stupid. They can't be billions of years old. They would have been dissipated by now. They're not billions of years old. They're going to tell you kids in... OK? Now, if we go back to the, the Earth moon, if you go back in time, here's today, go back one. I said, I don't know. It's been sitting there for 400 years. Stupid, OK? Now, if we go back to the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, it was a very different place. All, all we found in the early Earth's atmosphere is high amounts of carbon dioxide. How did you test the Earth's early atmosphere? That is my question. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong magnetic field. Scientists are kind of perplexed by this because the magnetic field is going to be years old. The light moves just a little farther. They're not billions of years old. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger. Million years ago, it was a very deep. That's stupid, okay? <laughs> I don't want to take this section out. I mean, still have Take this section out for now. Put it back here. Close this in. That's stupid, okay? Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite... Okay. Every year... Here's a new, um, what do you call it? New static. New static at all. Every year... Hmm. Okay. Every year, the moon. Hmm. There's a weird sound to it. Moon. Okay. Every year, the moon. Eh, we'll stick with our 
regular static for now. Every year, the moon's orbit gets a little bigger, and our favorite satellite moves just a little farther away. The moon is going farther away from the Earth every year. We're slowly losing the moon. The moon's orbit is currently growing about 3.8 centimeters per year. It was a very different place. All we found... This... ...years is absolute... ...after all of your burning science questions. True. People that have studied this say about 1.2 to 1.4 billion... science questions. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very... They're not billions of years old. People that... People that have studied this say about one point have been going around the Earth when the maximum time limit from. They're not billions of years old. People that have studied... Billions of years old. People that have studied this say... The Earth Moon. If you go back in time, absolute max, when the Moon would make contact with the Earth, up and drowned everything on Earth twice a day. Now those have been going around the Earth when the maximum time limit is 1.4 billion years. They're going to tell you kids in school, but they can't be billions of years old. They would have been dissipated by now. They're not billions of years old. People that have studied this say... Questions. Well, I think this works better here. Burning science questions. People that have studied this say about 1.2 to 1.2. Oh, we... Also, when you paste insert, it moves everything over so you don't run the risk of pasting on top of something like that you would it would shift it over but I'm not sure what I've got here Earth four point Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede which has a very strong magnetic field scientists are kind of perplexed by this because the magnetic field indicates a hot molten core and yet Ganymede should have cooled off billions of years ago why does Ganymede still have a hot molten core and a strong magnetic field to say it's billions of years old is stupid. It's just lacking common intelligence. Saturn has rings around it, but the rings are... Angular momentum. Conservation of... We're here to answer all of your bird... Faster and faster. Three planets have... Some whole... ...are spinning backwards. CNN, goofy guy... ...boys and girls, and one day it exploded. <laughs> Big bang. You know how a spinning figure skater slows down when they extend... ...factors that would reverse... ...faster and faster... It, okay? All of your burn. Okay, that's not the way it happens. Until then, we're here. Stupid, okay? That's not the way it happens. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong magnet. They're not billions of years old. Until then, we're here to answer all of your burning science questions. People that have studied this say about one. It was a very different place. <laughs> By now. They ever get to that point. So I guess you could say that the moon will leave Earth's orbit, but only because it'll come crashing back into Earth when the sun reaches its midlife crisis. <laughs> Until then... Would have been dissipated by now. They're not billions of years old. 0.4 billion is stupid. They can't be billions of years We're here to answer all of your burning science. Kids in school that the Earth is full. Well, then where did the moon come from? years old. Well, then where did the moon come from? Four billion years. They're going to tell you kids in school that the Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Well, then where did the moon come Time limit is 1.4 billion years. They're going to tell you kids in school that the Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Well, then where did the moon come from? Where did the moon come from?
Until then, we're here to answer all of your burning science questions. Billion years old. How could the moon have been going around the Earth when the maximum time limit... Where did the moon come from? Until then... Come from. We're here to answer all of your burning science questions. All of your burning science questions. Here to answer all of your burn. Billion years old. Well, then, where did the moon come from? We're here to. Where did the moon come from. Come from. We're here to answer all of your burning science questions. Science questions. Earth is billions of years old, have got to have a logical, coherent answer. And you need to contact Cornell University while you're at it and say, look, the Earth is billions of years old. Okay, how could the moon have been going around the Earth when the maximum time limit is 1.4 billion years? Years. We're here to answer all of your burning science questions. They're going to tell you kids in school. <laughs> while you're at it and say, look, look, go coherent answer. Coherent answer. We're here to answer all of your burning science questions. And you need to contact Cornell University. Way up and drowned everything on Earth twice a day because the moon causes the tide. Before that, you're going to have several who make contact with the Earth. 1.4 billion is absolute magic. The moon left us would have to be time. Here's today. Go back one bit. Absolute <coughs> maximum. I've studied this, say, about 1.2 to... About 1.2 to 1.4 billion years is absolutely old. They would have been dissipated by now. They're not billions of years old. 1.2 to 1.4 billion years is absolute maximum for the age of the Earth moon. All of your burning science questions. This because it's simply stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. CNN, goofy galaxy spins wrong direction. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So when they tell you it spun faster and faster and one day it exploded, that's simply stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong magnetic field. Some whole galaxies are spinning backwards. The Big Bang Theory is stupid. <sighs> the Big Bang Theory is stupid. That's what I have here. Burning science quest. Hey, messed up. <sighs> that, that's just stupid, okay? It can't be true. The re reason? And the fragments spin. CNN, goofy galaxy. The Big Bang Theory is stupid. CNN, Goofy. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Cut that. Jupiter has a moon. <laughs> Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong mag. Not billions of years old. They're not billions of years old. About 1.2 to 1. Oh no, what happened? Old, they would have been dissipated. About one point. Old. Well, then, where did the moon come from? We're here to answer all of your burning. All of your burning science questions. The Big Bang theory is stupid. Okay, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth.
So when they tell you it spun faster and faster and one day it exploded, that's simply stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. Science questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God, where did the moon come from? We're here to answer all of your burning science questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? Come from. We're here to answer all of your burning science questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven. Hold on. We're going to get some laughter here. Right there. We're going to get the laughter. Science questions. <laughs> questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid. Science questions. We're here to answer all of your burnings. Science questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So when they tell you it spun fast. Okay? In the beginning, God... Where did the moon come from? We're here to answer all of your burning science questions. Fast color. Where'd it go? Crank it down, crank it back. Crank it white, whoops. It's questions. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. It's questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the... buzzer it's questions <laughs> it's burning science questions <laughs> there we go we'll slap on this and we'll get ourselves a red X. PNG. Is it transparent? I need a transparent one. Save as. Save it to samples. What file is that? Okay. Samples. Try that right there.
science questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created... Trying to extend this buzzer a little bit. Questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? Just lower this. 22, 22, 12, 12, 8. Questions. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? The Big Bang Theory is stupid. It's questions. 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 Here, let's change this up. We'll just change this to like. Whoa! Sure, what I did there. Change this to speed 50. Why didn't? What did that do? In the world just didn't happen. Speed. 50. Why didn't it change? I'm a little confused here. Take the wrong buzzer. Speed. Change it to 50% speed. Oh, my keys aren't working. Number lock was on. Okay. Right here. About there. Can actually be thirty. Oh wow. It's gonna be way lower. <coughs> Questions. <coughs> can be like negative 22. Negative 3. It's going to be a little louder. Negative 12. Speed can be 50. Questions. The Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God. Questions. 
Let's just take this off. Questions. <laughs> Questions. <laughs> The Big Bang Theory is stupid, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So when they tell you it's stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. PayPal for a one time. This one, I can just slap on the new uh, Tech Times censorship donation outro. Stupid, okay? That's not the way it happened. The way it happened. That's not the way it happened. Here. It's not the way it happened. Not the way it happened. The way it happened. Okay, that's not the way it happened. They're clearly going after truth channels. In that's not the way it happened. They're clearly going after truth. It's just lacking confidence. 1.4 to say they're billions of years old is stupid. They can't be billions of years old. They would have been dissipated by now. They're, they're not billions of years old. About 1.2 to 1.4 billion years is absolute, absolute maximum of years old. About 1.2 of years old. Of years old. About 1.2 to 1.4 billion years is absolute maxima. Billion years ago, it was a very different place. They're not billions of years old. About one. Jupiter has a moon called Now if we go back to the Earth Now if we go back to the Earth 4.5 billion years ago it was a very different place. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong mag. Place. Jupiter has a moon called different place. Jupiter has a moon called different place. Now, if we go back, I'm changing this to like 90. Back to the Earth, four point. So he doesn't show his hand raise up here at the end. Before, it shows his hand pop up there, and then it cuts off. So now, since I slowed down only the video clip, it doesn't show his hand pop up. You can probably put it at like 95-ish. Now, if we go back to the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, it was a very different place. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong... 4.5 billion years ago. Eh, his mouth isn't moving right. So we'll have to change him to... You know, we'll just put him back at 100. And we'll just move this over. Different place. Jup uh, Maybe here? No. Different place. Jupiter has a moon called. Let's just get simple and dip to black and dip to black. Different place. Jupiter, 
very different place. Jupiter has a moon called Gamma. Very different place. Jupiter has a moon called a very different place. Jupiter has a moon called Ganymede, which has a very strong magnetic field. Scientists. Hmm. As evidence to support our more complex and diverse life on Earth. So in biology, when we're talking about evolution, we're talking about how over time, life has gone from simple organisms to more complex and diverse, which means more types. We already got all that. It takes time, and time is going to be a key factor that you need to consider when we're considering evolution. So how do we use DNA as evidence to support our theory of evolution? Well, the first key bit of evidence is this here. The fact that DNA is present in all living things is a very good piece of evidence to support evolution. Now, we'll come back to this piece of evidence later, but first of all, let's have a look at how DNA has come to be in all living things. To do that, we need to look. This is a whole other video on DNA. 0.5 million years ago. That was proteins. The reason the genetic code is a back to that. Yeah, that's a different video. It won't go past iron. How do you get you? We lose stock. Pensacola. Well, now the other thing is just that. The other thing is he's reiterating the same thing about the moon here. He says the same thing twice. But anyway, let's render that out, and you'll see what I mean. Evolution, okay, so what is it? Um, the Earth is not billions of years old. Did it? How about revised edit? One revised edit put my initials. All right, well, that's it for now. Oh, gotta change my settings. And we'll export it. Hmm, but that's the idea. Paste insert. Key bind it. You saw how I did it. I went to keyboard shortcuts, typed in. You could also do it for full screen. Find toggle full screen. Mine set at F11. You can change that. That way you go into full screen mode. The other one is insert and change that to whatever you want. Just make sure you're not changing it to something that does another function that you use. And that's it. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, yeah, the only thing is, is he's repeating this information twice when he says it all again right here. Probably should have just used one of them, but let's just see how this flows. Um, for now, just so we can see, just so we can uh, evaluate our progress. In other words, it's not completed per se but it's greatly improved and I had my back crack today I don't want to say it's greatly improved but it's improved just a little bit because I can barely stand up I feel like there's a pinched nerve that shoots from down my neck and my spine down my back to my hip to my leg to my calf it's got to be a nerve could be a muscle, but I think it's a nerve. I turn the, I turn my hip, and then pain shoots down, and I almost fall over. I gotta catch myself on something. All right, so that's it. That's it for now. I gotta go to bed. I'm too tired. I've been taking pain medication, and it's putting me to sleep all day long. All right, that was probably 
longer than longer than it should have been. So we're going to end this now. Peace.